putting the RF voltmeter together. Ah, good evening YouTube. I'm back from VV Indiana. I got back this morning. Um, put together the uh, video. I had all the footage, but I hadn't put it all together yet on the uh, Bob's badass <laughs> AM transmitter. Next, I'm going to be working on for that project R an RF voltmeter that Bob also came up with. Uh, has a little 50, I think it's a 50 volt um, meter movement and a few discrete parts. And we will use that to tune the uh, transmitter. See where we end up with that. So that'll be fun. All my projects are fun. Not really, but you know what I mean. Uh, other things in the mail today include this that I just held up. Um, another item that's out in the car, I didn't bring it in, but I'll show you a flash of a picture. It's a, basically a splitter for your power port in your car. Um, having the uh, camera and uh, my little monster Bluetooth transmitter in there, I thought it would be nice to have one of those. Since then I have, since I ordered that, I have found out that the monster will work for both, but you have to switch the uh, cable around between uh, like when I want to charge my phone and the camera. So. Um, it has two ports on the monster, but one of them is actually a dedicated music type port for USB keys with music on them. And I have one of those in there. Now this uh, item that uh, I bought, obviously from China, actually it was a US seller, but it originally came from China, because it came in one of these. But uh, it was... Uh, Pretty, pretty inexpensive, and, and that was one of the things that uh, I used my $5 rebate from uh, my slow item that came, that uh, re eBay gave me a $5 rebate, so I just applied it to this, ended up paying, I think, uh, I believe it was $6, something like that, shipped, so it wasn't too bad. And I've got it in the car now, like I said, I've got it, got the uh, Bluetooth in it, and uh, just trying it out. I used it to, plug, to charge my phone. The built-in USB ports of the splitter just to see what it would do. It seemed to work all right. So, got that. And these items that I'm feverishly working, working on yeah, getting open. Now, I think, yep, I am correct. These are the uh, little um, uh, jacks, whatever you want to call them, for my power port on the uh, 5284, uh, IM5284 Heath kit. Uh, this will be on the back, and this is where the actual, uh, uh, this one here uh, connects to the uh, wall work, and that will provide the source voltage for the splitter or dual power supply which uh, has not arrived yet. Now both of those said they could arrive after 328. Now obviously that got here early because it was here in the mailbox yesterday or today I should say. So that means uh, you know a good chance the other one might be here tomorrow. I don't know but uh, that's the case. And what I'm doing here today is and I won't put you all through it, but uh, I've got to go back through the boxes again. Bob was being a smart smart butt this afternoon. I asked him uh, where my uh, little voltmeter might be, where he thought it might be, and he said it's in a box. And I said, okay, which one? He said the one that's got the RF voltmeter in it. Okay, thanks, Bob. Um, so I've got to find that, and once I find that, we'll have a look at it and see what's involved in making this little uh, voltmeter for our transmitter and see if we can tune this thing up and give it the maximum available power to uh, give some good signal throughout the house. 
or apartment, whatever you want to call it. So let me uh, get back to you in just a second or two, and we'll go from there. Ah, back with you once again. I have the, uh, this is going to be my, I believe, the case for it. I'm not really certain <clears throat> because I'm not sure if this is actually going to fit. Um, that's a little taller than uh, even with the top on, I think. Now let me get these screws out of here and then we'll check it again. And I think, yeah, it will fit, I believe. That's going to be kind of close, but where am I at there? Yeah, that'll fit. That's a pretty good way from the bottom. So that should do just nicely. Put that uh, in the top right there. Let's get back a little bit here right and get see what I'm doing. Yeah, I know, Bill. I'll probably be breathing on the camera mic again, but I'm sorry. Anyway, put that there. You go it in there, obviously. And uh, I'm thinking that might be the way to go. Um, the uh, circuit board, I'm going to flash up a schematic of it. Pretty simple. Uh, I believe a couple diodes, some resistors, capacitors. And that's pretty much it. Now, I don't know... I don't know that I have the uh, absolute correct... Dows the I think it was one in nine fourteens. I think I do, um, but I do have, and I know I have these because I ordered them recently. The one in forty one forty eights, which are essentially the same diode, I believe. Um, so uh, that's the thing. I'll use one or the other, whichever one I got. And I think I have some uh, ones I bought a long time ago, old new old stock, I guess as you call them. But I think our one in uh, 914s, I think. There it is. So, uh, so that's what we're going to be working on. Give me a piece of uh, circuit board and start putting in little components and we'll have it done in no time. So hopefully we can get this done one shot. So we'll be right back. Well, after examining the uh, other project box that I have is essentially the same as the first one. This may be the better choice. It's already got the hole cut out and I'm pretty sure I can I can make that work. Put some filler in. It, this one doesn't have to be something fancy that uh, you know that uh, is going to be shown a lot. It's, it's just for measuring the RF power of that uh, basically. I mean I, I can use it for other things I assume but that's one of the things that's going to be used for, so that's what we're going to do. And you get the same, same, uh, what do you call it, spacing, because like I said, it is essentially the same meter. Let's see if I can get this down to, there we go. Yeah, it's a little bit closer that way. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there's uh, like two little little cut out and that's pretty close to the bottom right there but it will work pretty darn sure nothing else I can put a little cut out in the bottom of that to match the uh, where it's going not a big deal no big deal so all right gonna gonna probably do this one ah good afternoon YouTube back with you once again I have the uh, completed circuit um, well, the circuit complete. How's that? Um, <clears throat> either way you want to look at it, it's done. Now, this is just the uh, circuitry for this. And let me get you up so you can see the whole um, whole sh enchilada, whole shooting match, whatever. This would be the plus end that connects to the antenna. And this is the minus, the ground end. And that's this line here that goes straight down through here. And first thing we come into is the 220 picofarad capacitor. And then we go to a 220K resistor. Here is our diodes. They're joined together here. Uh, the anode end of this one and the cathode end of the D1 uh, is joined. Goes on over to the one meg resistor here. 
which is parallel with the 10 nanofarad capacitor across the line. And we have J3, which is the plus lead coming out here, and J4, the minus lead coming out here. Now that's pretty simple. Uh, you know, I got to thinking about this. Uh, <laughs> You don't really need a, a, a meter for this. Now, I'm building it that way, but any meter, any voltmeter that measures uh, DC voltage can be hooked across that and monitored while you're doing this. Uh, so, you know, I, I, may not, uh, I may not go ahead and put that on right now because that's going to require a lot of work to get all this done and all the uh, cabinet ready and stuff like that. So, uh, I may just use the... Um, I am 30 or 5284, and I'm thinking about going ahead and getting that mounted. Well, no, I don't want to do that until I get it, the uh, power supply up, done on it. So, anyway, uh, we'll we'll do something about getting this connected. I need to, uh, as you can see, these are just pins sticking up now. There's there's not they're not connected to anything, but uh, that will be done also. So, like I said, I need to get my antenna back up. It's kind of fell down and run it over here to where I'm going to put it at just for this test anyway and uh, get that all set up and get everything connected and then we'll get the IM5284 uh, up here hooked here to monitor the voltage uh, it's supposed to be a 50 volt um, capability here and that's what my little monitor or meter that I bought was 50 volt DC so uh, once that's done and we can get this thing and test it, that will be the next video because uh, i got to take a break here and do some other stuff. So let me uh, do that and go ahead and get this together and uploaded because this will be my Thursday video. And uh, you guys have a pleasant, pleasant day. I'm, I'm very uh, pleased. <laughs> I'm very pleased to be back at home. Um, you, you really don't appreciate home until you're away for a couple of days in a place that's not very friendly i won't say friendly but not very uh forgiving as far as accommodations and things like that um so anywho like i said that's that um this is uh like i say we'll get this done here and get back with you maybe this evening sometime and maybe that time bob will be back i think he's he's got a doctor's appointment or something like that this afternoon so you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching, and we will see you.